Tally or Parrot, um, I would say for absolute beginners who might run into problems, um, Tally is going to be better. Let me explain why. I think that the community around Tally, and because it is kind of the gateway to most of these things, it's used in instruction. It's used by people who are learning online because most of the people who are instructing are using Tally Linux. Um, it, usually you will find an answer within the Kali Linux community for Kali related problems that also apply to other operating systems, but are specifically for the tools that are built into Kali Linux. So, you know, like I really love Parrot Security OS because it's beautiful. It makes a better daily driver, in my opinion. Um, and most of the time it'll be compatible with like commands that you would use in Kali Linux. So it's not a really big choice to make, honestly. One of them is more, in my opinion, beginner friendly because of the community of people who are contributing like answers and like, uh, like having the same problem as you basically, uh, and are focused on the same learning objectives. And the second might be, you know, a little less popular compared to the one that everyone's heard of. And that's like used in academic settings, but it's a nicer, in my opinion, it's a nicer layout. It's like a, a kind of uh, operating system that I would want to use if I was doing that kind of stuff all day, every day, or if I had other tasks to do that I just need to work. So it's like a step closer to just like running Ubuntu and weaponizing it as necessary. It's like kind of a weird curve of hackers where it's just like at the beginning, it's just, just like, we love Kali Linux. And then in the middle, it's like, no, pair, it's so much better. It's beautiful. And now that I'm used to Kali, I want something nicer. And then eventually you kind of loop back to like Ubuntu where you're just like, I need other stuff to work most of the time and then if i need to hack something that's great too and i'll i can install that as i need it so initially it's just like you want all the tools there you want everything and then once you get it once you know what you want out of those first two operating systems a lot of hackers i know end up just going back to ubuntu because they want all the nice stuff to work um, if they're going to be using this computer all the time so at minimum i'm not a lot of people i know dual boot ubuntu with these other and they're all debian based so again like a lot of the commands are all going to work between them and that's why it's not really as much of a choice as you might think Thank <laughs> you.